Zach Stacy appeared in a Florida courtroom Friday morning just hours after his arrest, and a judge told the former NFL player he would not be allowed out of jail until he surrenders his passport. Stacy, who went before the judge wearing a COVID mask and a blue shirt, said that might be an issue, revealing his passport is currently locked in his car in Tennessee. When the judge pressed, though, Stacy and his attorney said he could have a friend access it and mail it to him, although they said that might not happen until Saturday or Sunday, meaning Stacy could remain locked behind bars through this weekend. Once the passport is turned over, Stacy, who's facing two felony charges after he was seen on video brutally attacking his ex, Kristen Evans, will have to post a $10,150 bond, the judge said. The judge also ordered Stacy to have no contact with Evans and turn over any firearms or weapons in his possession. He added that Stacy must remain in his residence in Tennessee. At the hearing, it appeared Evans wanted to address the court via the phone, but technical issues prevented that from happening. Orange County Sheriff As we previously reported, Stacy was charged with aggravated battery and criminal mischief this week after he punched Evans and then threw her into a TV in a violent altercation at Evans' home. The ex-St. Louis Rams running back, who was arrested at Orlando International Airport on Thursday night, is facing over 15 years in prison if convicted on the charges.